my channel so today and also welcome to vlogmas day 21 we're almost finished i obviously kind of went for a break in terms of filming due to illness which i should stop talking about by now basically today's video is beauty gifts that are under 10 pounds so affordable beauty gifts basically Obviously I just did the basic affordable gifts like socks, mugs, that sort of thing. But now I'm specialising it. I'm probably going to do day 22 as a skincare because I originally wrote this as and skincare but I forgot to search skincare and like to point out I'm not wearing any highlight. Like what the hell is happening to me? Honestly nothing's happening to me. I just fancied a change. But I'm literally going to film the skincare one after this, so I'll add a bit of highlight. I'll make this me again. Some of these I had to refine just to like one general thing because there were so many of them but in like different scents. So yeah, I will point out there is like one lot. Actually no, I'm not going to mention it because it's not to do with Actually, yeah, I will mention it. I should start rambling on then. Let's just get into this video. First thing is the Zoella Body Mists, which are £8. I'd like to point out all of the items I'm going to mention I got off the Superdrug website because obviously there are Superdrug stores and I was mainly basing it off of you've got last couple of days, you've got like, what, now the weekend? Yeah, now the weekend because I'll upload this 10 a.m. This video will have been uploaded like 10, 11 a.m. As you know, I'll do 10 because then I'll be really nice because then you've got time to go out and buy. Plus, I believe they're opening Sunday and Monday, so you've got time. But I've only got these off the Superdrug website because I thought it's the easiest to buy from, best place to shop. Yeah, just the Zoella body, Zoella body mess, which are eight pounds, and there was quite a few body mess, which is why I've just condensed it to body mess. But each single body mess is eight pounds. How many times can I say body mess in like a minute? Jeez. <clears throat> Next item is the Revolutions, like the Revolution X Soap Highlighter Palette, which is eight pounds, and obviously you get. Eight shades, like eight highlighters in a palette, which is obviously pretty affordable. So good. And yeah, there's nothing else I can really say. Next is the Makeup Revolution X Soap Eyeshadow Palette Extra Spice, or even the original, which are both ten pounds because you can't really go wrong with eyeshadow palettes, which is why. Me. which is why I've not included foundation or concealer or anything like that because it's easier to not have the like it's easy to not have things where there are shades unless it's highlight highlights the exception I think or at least I would say like if you see the person enough and you know like they typically wear gold highlights or they typically wear pink highlights or white highlights you can get an idea from that but highlights are an easier one to buy or at least I think anyway then there's the L'Oreal Paris Glow one and more highlighting drops there's obviously a few different colours the one it showed was the champagne one and that is £9.99 so in the £10 budget and yeah I'm keeping this to £10 because I thought £10 is typically what someone might want to spend at Christmas on somebody so it's like why not then the next thing is the Love Island Glitter Primer Pots set which is 
four pounds, so under five pounds. And yeah, and obviously, for if your friend is an absolute massive fan of the violin, then <clears throat> wouldn't it be a good thing to buy them? Next thing is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Eyeshadow Palette Mischief Matte, which is eight pounds. I put a little one up. I've not actually tried any of these, but I was doing my search. Some of the things later on in this list I have used, I will put out. But this one I saw and I'd never come across before. And if it's in my super, local super drug, I'm most likely gonna buy it because it looks beautiful. All of them are mattes, as you can probably guess by the mischief matte. And there was a range of colours as well, like those yellows, pinks, blues, and I believe purples. So huge range, and I'm definitely considering buying it after Christmas. Yeah. Now let's see the this list. <clears throat> Next thing on is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colours, which is £6. I'm currently wearing the one in the shade Blush, or at least I believe it's called, yeah, it's Blush. I also have Mocha as well, which is obviously the more nudie one, which I typically do wear, like, often. And like, yeah, I just wear it often. They are super, super, super comfortable, and I actually did a review on these. I also do own a black one. It's not as... It's a little bit more like streaky and a little bit more patchy than the rest, but it's workable. But I did a review on those and I will leave it in the description box below if you want to check it out. So you can see my review on them, but I do really enjoy them. <clears throat> God, I've still got a cough. Well, I don't really have a cough before, but I now have a cough now. Seriously. I lose the tummy ache, I get a cough. Ugh. Next thing on my list is Collection Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt, which I bought for £4.19 and I believe it's still £4.19, but I'm wearing it today, but then again I've got cream contour, bronzer, and then normal contour, so you probably can't tell, but yeah, I've got it on today and it's like a perfect cool tone brown, especially for like pale skin. I probably applied slightly heavier today oops but yeah it's just a beautiful like like cool tone i was trying to i was thinking light tone for some reason but it's a really good cool tone brown that i like for contour <clears throat> the next thing is the maybelline color tattoo 24 hour single eyeshadows which are £5.99 and yeah I'm so sorry if I seemed a little bit distracted I just got a text message from my mum yeah DVLA don't say that you need two forms of identification on your um when you're applying for a original I wish they did because I've now had to enclose my um social security number letter well my national insurance number letter because even though on the national insurance letter it states this is not a form of ID it's something they said they'd accept so <clears throat> because my birth certificate is literally the only form of identica identification I have because I don't have a passport Next thing on my list is the Eyelaw False Eyelashes, which are £5.39. Why is things so, like, like what, £4.19? £5.39? Like, things are so weird at the moment. Yeah. But, obviously, if you're, like, looking to spend, like, oh, obviously, you can buy them a pair, but if you've got a slightly larger budget, like, what, £11, you can buy them two pairs. So... 
or if you're willing to stretch the bank by about a pound or almost a pound you can buy them two pairs and obviously for stylishes you can wear you can get a minimum of three uses out of i know they're only recommended for three uses but to be honest you can get to be honest i think i've got like six seven possibly ten uses out of a pair of false eyelashes when i used to dance so don't stick to the three obviously like maybe if you can peel off some of the glue that might help them last a little bit longer but yeah I don't own false eyelashes. Actually, I do, but they're like really thick. And I like the really dramatic ones. <laughs> yeah. I should probably find them out and like put them on, but too much effort to put under my bed. So, yeah. Then, sticking to false eyelashes, there's the Super Drug false eyelashes, which are usually £4.19. At the moment, it says they're £3.19, so you can get them what? three pairs for tenner and still save what 43p like that's money well spent i'd say and then last but not least is the maybelline castle big shot mascara obviously there's a couple castle big shot like there's the waterproof and there's just a couple because there seems to be different packaging but to be honest I don't really understand that but yeah yeah just with mascara if it's like a black mascara I guess you can't go wrong and if it's a mascara they've not had before they can try it out if it's a mascara you love or it's a mascara that becomes highly recommended because there is actually a three pound fifty mascara in Wilco. I've not tried it and I do want to try it and I'll probably buy it after Christmas and I will do a review like a first impressions video on this. I think it's three pound fifty. Somewhere around that. But yeah. So I hope this list was very useful okay now that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button because it's free and you know you want to also click that the little uh, bell button because we all know when you you want to get notified when my videos go live and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye!